In this Bard's Tale 4 guide, we will check out the Practitioner class and share some tips on how to play it effectively. Practitioners are essentially mages and can deal with any situation due to a wide array of offensive abilities, be it elemental attacks, summoning, or just moving everyone around. They are typically damage dealers, but also have some powerful buffing and debuffing abilities as well. Practitioners occupy the DPS role for the most part and have low constitution, so they are best played from the back row. They have a wide variety of skills that can target lots of hexes. Pairing practitioners with a Trow Rogue leads to great DPS potential because rogues can finish off enemies previously wounded by practitioners fast and easy, and also restore one opportunity due to the Trow racial passive. The practitioner playstyle benefits most from the Elf, Trow, and Bade human races. The Elf race passive increases focus by 30%, and that is important for practitioners because they have lots of channeled abilities. More focus means you can take more mental damage before a channeled ability will be cancelled. On top of that, you also receive plus one spell point if you are an elf. The Trow race passive restores opportunity once per round if you kill an opponent. Trow works great with blade casting focused practitioners since they do a lot of instant single target damage, but should be avoided for channel focused builds. The Bade human race passive offers three additional skill points at levels 3, 10, and 18, which works excellently with any class. More skill points equals a more deadly practitioner. Practitioners have many abilities and can be built in many ways. The most important thing to know about practitioners is that spells mostly use only spell points and not opportunity. That means you can do many attacks in one round because offensive abilities that use spell points do not cost opportunity, while offensive abilities that do use opportunity do not use spell points. Practitioners start off with Charged Bolt, Arcane Barrage, and Slinking Assault, and all three of these abilities are very useful. Charged Bolt can hit all enemies in a column, Arcane Barrage does mental damage, which means it can break enemies' focus, and Slinking Assault can be used to move to the back row while dealing significant damage. Practitioners receive one spell point each round, but that can be boosted significantly by many skills such as Soul Leech, Meditation, and from critical hits with most attacks. Another way to regain spell points quickly is through Elixir of Focus. It instantly restores spell points and increases intelligence, making it a must for any practitioner that uses channeled abilities frequently. Practitioners can be built in many ways, and here are just a couple of viable build ideas. Archmage. Archmages focus on using powerful spells like War Strike, Manger's Mallet, and Spectre Touch to kill opponents quickly. Soul Leech, Meditation, and Elixir of Focus will take care of all of your spell point needs. Important attributes for an Archmage are Strength, Intelligence, and Spell Points, so use any equipment that boosts those stats. Bladecaster. Bladecasters focus on using daggers to deal massive damage with Slinking Assault and Blood for Blood, which is only increased by the amount of spell points available. Meditation and Elixir of Focus can fill up spell points in the first round, so that more damage is done with each attack afterwards. Blood Pact also offers a 30% chance to restore one spell point for each dagger hit. Important attributes for Bladecasters are Strength and Spell Points. Summoner Support. Summoner Support focus on summoning monsters to aid your party and using abilities Dancing Lights, Feathered Charm, and Oscon's Hold Foe to disrupt enemy forces. Vorpal Plating is another great support ability that enhances an ally's weapon so that it deals more damage. How many points you want to invest into each skill path depends on the abilities you want to use. So if you want to be more support based, then go for Vorpal Plating. If you want to be more summon oriented, then go for Grand Summoner. Important attributes for Summoner Support are Spell Points and Constitution. Practitioners are a versatile bunch that can be built in many ways. Summoners, Bladecasters, Archmages, or any other builds offer solutions for every problem you might be facing. And, as builds can be quite different, don't forget that gear must match the build to maximize the potential of practitioners. Gear is the primary means of increasing attributes in the Bard's Tale 4. Practitioners are a very fun class to play, but it can be tough at times to keep them alive, and that is why keeping them in the back row behind a tanky character is recommended. If you're playing the game, check out the Bard's Tale 4 Barrows Deep wiki, and you should also have a look at our Getting Started guide, or check out other Bard's Tale 4 Barrows Deep class guides.